We were putting this big table in, we pushed it all the way to the back, and it went through the back window. What's up you guys, just called the glass place. Looks like it's gonna be $250 to fix it. Appreciate all the support on the video. I posted about an hour ago. I think in the first hour, it almost got a thousand views, which is absolutely crazy, and that never happens on my videos, so appreciate you guys. Hey yeah, you guys, the world's largest <laughs> avocado. It's like the size of your head. Go! Let's put it next to the go. All of these oh, are giant. No, they're off except this one. Where's it? Put it next this to the This is the runt of the letter. What's up, you guys? New day. We're going to be getting after it today. We're going to go finish that landscaping job. Hopefully, everything is dried up a lot. It rained like two days ago really bad. So we'll see when we get over there. But I'll show you guys what we're driving in. We're going to be whipping around in the Dodge. I'm loading everything up right now. It still has the dent in it. So my dad's going to be going over to the other business to talk to them about that today. So I'll keep you guys updated on what happens with that. But yeah, kind of the perk of having a couple vehicles that we are buying and selling is the fact that when one goes down with the glass, I can pick up this one and drive it. Yeah, I could possibly. Let's see if we can pull that up. And I could possibly show that. That'd be great. That's fine, yeah, for sure. Is that, is that paint? Or is that just where it scratched? No, that's where it scratched. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um... Mike, I mean, if it's on you, but I, I mean, I watched it come out. Didn't mean anything. If it happened before I came out, then I don't know. One thing I think of is what it happened before I had a spot. I didn't think it was that close at that point, but. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens. We just talked to the business that's next to us about them hitting the truck with the trailer. I got Pops with me. Pops really confronted them. Yeah, a little conversation. They were pretty cool, though. Walked in, said, hey, man, look. I called y'all on Saturday. I, I didn't get anything back. And the guy said, yeah, we were at a gun show all weekend. And I said, well, you know, I said, we got a situation. My truck was hit. And at first he really didn't want to, you know, acknowledge the fact that it was possible that it happened. And so then we went outside, looked at it. There was another guy with him. And he said, well, you know, that, that might have happened before y'all came out. And I saw the dent there. And so anyway, he, he was pretty much admitting to it. They were playing good cop, bad, bad cop. cop. Yeah. yeah. The bad cop was like, nah, dude, nothing happened. We were all here. We were all looking at it. But the guy who hit the truck was like, I don't know, maybe I hit it. I was, I saw that there was a dent on it. And like, he was basically telling on himself. Well, he was, pull, he was pulling the trailer out by himself first. Right. And so probably what happened is he realized how close he was or that he made a mistake. Cause when he said, oh, I saw the dent in the truck, he probably went inside, got a bunch of the guys and they all said, the, the, the manager of the shop said, well, we, we were all out there and we pushed the trailer up. And But they probably did that after the fact that they hit it. Plus the business next to us is like a tech business. So they got cameras all outside of their shop. And dad was like, that's fine. We'll just look at the camera footage from the shop next door to us. And that's when he started coming clean. He was like, oh, well, maybe I did hit it. <laughs> so it's all good, man. You know, you at least want to see something positive when or somebody does something, they admit to it. Or even after the fact, just, you know, with um, the reality that the dent's there, it was parked next to the trailer, and it looks like a trailer hit it and scuffed it, that they would just say, you know what, yeah, let's do the right thing. And unfortunately, that was the first time we even got to meet them. We'll see what happens. Uh, the guy said he just runs the business, he doesn't own it, so they're gonna talk to the owner of the business as he would, yeah, they wanna do. We're back at the house. As you can see, there's still some wetness in here. I don't know if it's gonna come through on the camera, but, it's gonna have to do. I've put this job off for too long, so we need to go ahead and take care of it. I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're just gonna be doing some hedge trimming. Just wanna get these uh, looking good. I mean, some of them already look pretty good, but like this one's a little bit out of control. So hedge trim, I'm gonna try to put a new line on this bed. It might even spray some weed killer and just pull any miscellaneous weeds that are in here. Just like over there, hedges trimmed. Get all this trimmed up. 
line here any weeds pulled I'll show you guys this bed as you can see this one's out of control here so we're gonna get that one back in order and this rose bush is getting crazy as well so we're gonna have to cut that back a good bit so pretty easy stuff just a cleanup and bed lining a little bit of weeds to pull so these beds actually have a lining underneath them and that's why as you can see there's no weed growth whereas there's a lining there's no weed growth where there isn't a lining there's all this grass so i mean a lot of people comment on my videos and say justin why are you putting a line on the bed it's because it stops a lot of the weed growth as you can see here it's just on the outside just where there's no lining so anyway just wanted to clarify that wrapping up here's the front bed as you can see trimmed up these shrubs really nicely new line on the bed it got rid of all the weeds and everything else i'll go ahead and show you these over here had to make sure that i hose everything off after because it was a little bit muddy as you can see these are looking better as well more boxy much better got some growth here it's not weeds or anything i tried to weed it out uh, i just sprayed it with some weed killer so hopefully that'll be gone and we'll check it out later so everything's looking good i'm gonna go pack up the equipment and we'll roll out so i'm editing this video and i know i'm gonna get this question a bunch in the comment section so i'm gonna go ahead and address it now the reason why there's so much space in between the grass and the bed is because the bed actually extends out farther than what you guys are seeing however the mulch got pushed back in the process of extracting the grass and getting that whole nice line on the bed i usually like to maintain a six to eight inch gap between the grass and the bed so whenever they put new mulch in there it will be covering more of that distance so if that makes sense it will look perfect once they put new mulch in there they just didn't want me to lay down new mulch now if you guys made it this far in the video comment down below guilty as charged and i'll hashtag you a real one appreciate all you guys who watched this far in the video my name is justin this is forever self-employed and until next time hustle hard and get that money baby peace